In this video, I'm sharing a tapping sequence to help you overcome the awful loss uh, when we grieve for our pets. Obviously, we, we grieve when we lose a loved one, a family member, but our pets, if you're a pet owner, you'll know this, are a huge part of our lives. And sometimes other people around us simply don't understand the depth of our loss. So if you've lost a loved pet, your best friend, a dog, a cat, whatever it is that you've lost, your pet, this is for you. I am very, very sorry for your loss. I know how much it, it can mean to us, how much we suffer. When I lost my first dog, Rudy, and my beautiful big Doberman, it was a huge gap in my, in my life. And I really grieved for him. I really suffered. I felt a huge bleakness in my soul because I missed him. He was part of my life every day, always there, leaning on me. I felt his smell, his warmth, his energy, his love. And it's awful when that goes. So if you're feeling a loss, if you, if you can't stop crying, if you're grieving for your beloved pet has, has kept you really low, then this tapping sequence is for you. Before we start tapping, I just want to start um, using your hands, rub them, get rid of any energetic debris. And we're just going to massage in our side seams. And as we do that, I just want you to ask to take full responsibility for your own emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being. And as we do this massage, we're literally starting to get your body, your energetic body ready for reprogramming. We're reducing the cognitive gap between your conscious brain and your deeper subconscious between your new intentions and your deeper beliefs. We're just opening you up to accept a deeper change in your programming. So let's start with the karate points. Even though I've lost my precious pet who felt like my best friend and I'm feeling so much grief. I choose to completely love and deeply accept who I am and how I'm feeling right now. Even though I'm feeling such emptiness, such bleakness, and it feels like my heart is breaking. I choose to completely love and accept who I am and how I'm feeling. Even though I'm feeling this loss, I choose to completely love and accept who I am and accept how I'm feeling. I give myself full permission to feel everything I'm feeling. I don't understand why I'm grieving in this way, why I feel sad, but I understand that I need to grieve. I understand that it's okay for me to grieve and I'm allowing myself to accept this unbearable grief that I'm feeling right now. I feel like I have this big gap in my life, a gap where my beloved pet used to be. I feel like I've lost something that I truly loved. I feel like my heart is breaking and I don't know how to stop. I just don't know. It's overpowering me. I miss my pet so very much. I wake up, reach out, and I remember he's gone. Everything feels different now. 
I feel so much pain. I miss him. I really miss him. And it's hard to tell other people that, for them to understand how much I hurt. And I hate being misunderstood. I just want people to know what I'm going through. That this hurts so deeply. I miss my pet so much. And even though all of this is true, and I know it's right and good to honor my pet, maybe, maybe I could honor him in another way. Maybe I could remember him and honor him in a way that fulfills me. I could grieve in a way that fills me up. Maybe I could let go of this bleakness, let go of the suffering that depletes me. It feels like it's time to honor him in a different way now. Maybe I could honor him in a joyful way. I know that I deserve to experience joy. I know that I can honor him and still feel joy. What if I could celebrate him? Feel the gratitude, gratitude of everything he gave me in life. Feel that deep joy the amazing impact he had in my life. And remember all the times he brought a smile to my face. All the times he brought joy. All the times he gave me so much. And I know that I returned his love and that he knew that too. And it feels so good to smile and remember him in this way. So I've decided that's what I'll do. I'm closing my eyes and I can feel him with me. He's still here in my heart so I give myself permission to let go of the suffering to remember him with joy to remember him with love in my heart and I give myself permission to let go of all the tension to let go of all the pain and just feel him in me and with me. And as I tap, I can feel the icy crystals of grief just melt away. I can feel his love. I can feel him with me, always connected. And from this space, I know my energy has shifted and that I completely love and deeply accept myself, mind, body and soul. And that my pet is here with me by my side just as in life. Now let's put your hand over your heart, close your eyes, take that deep breath. (sighs) 
Now just tune in with yourself. How are you feeling? If you still feel a bleakness, a sadness, and you can not yet smile, then just do this tapping sequence a few more times. And as we let that anchor and sink in, just want you to put one hand across your heart, find that gap between the fourth and fifth finger and start tapping. Look left, look right, still keeping your head forward. Left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, up, down. Circle your eyes to the right. And now the other direction. Another deep breath. I do hope you're feeling uh, a relief that you can let go of your suffering, that you can truly honor that wonderful love you gave to your pet and he returned to you. Please let this be an end to your suffering. So keep doing that tapping, doing it every day. I find sometimes it takes 14 days, 21 days to really shift your energy. In the meantime, that tapping sequence will give you peace in the moment. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, please subscribe, please, please press like so that the YouTube algorithm shares this with those who really need it. And I know that you know that's a good thing. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again on my channel. Take care.